Okay, so now we need to get our part to length. So very simply, what we're going to do is, is we're going to kind of move this out of the way gently. Now I got the camera hooked to it, so I'm going to be very careful with it. I'm going to open this up, rotate my jaws a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and pull this part out. Now notice that every time I, I take my um, I take my hand off, I don't take my hand off of this, I remove it and set it off to the side. If anything were to happen and that were to turn on, that could really cause some personal damage to anybody. So now I got my part here. I, this is all intolerance. I have what I need. Um, I, I do realize that I haven't done the, uh, the chamfer yet, but we're going to talk about doing chamfers and angles in, in, in the subsequent um, areas. And so what I'm looking at here is, is I want to turn this around and I actually want to get this entire assembly to length. Now, I've already faced this side here previously. So what I can do at this point is, is take a measurement, okay, without dropping it. I can take a measurement, and I find that I'm at 3.609. So 3.609, I'm going to jot that down. 3.609. Now, here's why that's important. Because now that I turn this around, make sure I have an appropriate amount sticking in the jaws as well as out. I'm going to snug that up some. Now what I'm going to do is, is what we've already talked about, and that is set the Z. So we're going to walk in here, pay attention to what's happening up here. Notice my numbers are all off because I took my part out, so they no longer mean anything. But as soon as I touch off right here, I'm going to stop, and I'm going to Z, zero, enter. Now I'm Z, zero. Okay, why did I take a measurement earlier? I got 3.609. All right, so now what I can do is Z, 3.609, enter. So now this is showing me 3.609. So if I back up and I start cranking in here, you'll notice that it's going down. So now these numbers here correspond to the actual length. As long as I face this down and I get the 3.5, I should be right on the money. So that's what we're going to do right now very quickly. We're going to go ahead and put a little lube on this uh, so we don't get ourselves in trouble. Put our guard down here, make sure our tools aren't in the way. And I'm going to shift gears on this to make sure this is corresponding. extra lube. I'm losing it. Okay, and as I suggested before using one of these, if we go ahead and shift this down to a bit lower gear, we can turn this on. And just very gently to bar the face of this. Now, I'm going to shift it back to make it easier. Open this up, get my chuck key in here, take that off. And remember, keep my hand on that. Now I can wipe these surfaces off to make sure they're clean for me. And I can simply measure this. And okay, so I cut a hair bit under by a thousandths. I am 3.499. Okay? So now I hit my I hit my target and I hit it well within my uh, what my tolerance is. And so let's take a look at what the tolerance is on that. Just for, for per general purposes, is plus or minus fifteen thousandths. I'm within one thousandths on that length. So that's an appropriate way of doing it. Now, a part of learning your machine is, is that if you know that that happens, then it's always a good idea to compensate for it. Again, don't go down to 3.500. Go down to 3.502 and then go ahead and make a measurement on that so um, you can combat that for the future. But 
So where we're at is <clears throat> I have gotten this far as far as our um, as far as our project goes. Now again, I didn't do the chamfer on there. We're going to talk a little bit about more about chamfers here shortly, and we're going to be moving the compound around. But um, but now I was reasonably quickly able to get to this portion right here.